Okay, so I have removed basically the dorsal surface of the cuticle here, um, basically from the tip of the uh, rostrum, which is the little pointy bit, uh, about halfway down the abdomen. Uh, it's enough, to, I think, that we can see what we need to see. Um, I'm going to start with a bit of a tour of um, the musculature. One nice thing about this animal is that it has nice big muscles, um, which are easy to see, and we can talk about their different functions. Um, so first of all, we have uh, one pair of muscles right here, okay, and one pair of muscles right here. Uh, the the ones in front being on the anterior end, these are called the anterior gastric muscles. These are the posterior gastric muscles. And um, if you think of the word gastric, that usually refers to something going on with the stomach. And this is actually the stomach all the stomach region all in here. I'll come back to that in a moment. But just know that those are attached to either end of the stomach and those provide some muscular action there. Um, we can see on either side there's a nice little round muscle here and another nice little round muscle uh, right here, okay? Those are called mandibular muscles and those are involved in um, opening and closing the, the mandibles, so the mouth parts. If we move down the body, um, we can find right here, I'll just pull it out a little bit, uh, there's a nice long muscle right there, another one lying underneath there. That's the um, abdominal extensor muscle, so that's the muscle responsible for extending the abdomen or straightening it. Then along the sides, um, all in here and all in here on either side, there's um, there's another set of muscles called the abdominal, abdominal flexor muscles, and those are responsible for curling the tail under like this. Okay, so let's um, have a bit of a look at the digestive system. Um, so we'll start with the stomachs. Uh, we'll first, we'll go to the anterior end. The stomachs are up here at the anterior end. If we lift this uh, anterior gastric muscle, we can find this little sac up here. I've poked a hole in it. But this thin-walled um, sac up at the front is the cardiac stomach. Okay, that's the first chamber. And then there's a second chamber uh, right below, right in here, it's thicker walled, and that is the pyloric stomach, okay? So the two chambers of the stomach there. Um, there are a pair of digestive glands, they're pretty big. Um, I'll move this over, so all of this sort of beige stuff all in here, that's all digestive gland, and we can find the same thing on this side, if I move some things, all this mushy beige stuff here is all digestive gland as well, okay? Um, it's tricky to see too much else past that, but if we go further down the body and sort of spread these uh, muscles out of the way a little bit, you should be able to see this nice tube. Okay, so that's the tube of the intestine, and you'll recall that we have the, um, the anus uh, just right in here. Okay, so you can see again a complete digestive system. Now, I wanted to point out something interesting about the inside of the stomach. You have to go digging a little bit. Um, there we can see the stomach and its contents. Uh, right here, there's, there's a little example right here. I'll see if I can clean it off a little. There we go. Um, you'll see this sort of pointy, toothy looking uh, hard chitinous structure. There's one here. There should be one on the other side too. Here's the other one. Uh, right here, okay, and those are um, those are teeth essentially. Those are called gastric teeth. So those are contained inside the stomach, and as you can imagine, they are involved in some uh, mechanical digestion of food. So some grinding of food. Um, so a few other things we can see on this animal. Um, this is the male. And so we can actually see its reproductive organs, its testes. This lobe right here and this lobe right here are the testes, okay, site of um, sperm production. And the other thing that we can see here lying just above the testis, it's a small but very important structure, is this little thing right here. This is the heart, okay, and you'll note that it has a hole in it there. There's some holes on the other side as well. Those are called ostea. 
Okay, so the heart does have holes, which is probably a good indication that this animal has a, um, a open circulatory system. So there is a heart and there are major uh, blood vessels passing on both the dorsal and ventral surface of the body and elsewhere. Um, but um, the hemolymph, or basically the, the, the blood that you find in the body cavity, um, can circulate in the body cavity as well, just bathing the tissue. So, this is an open circulatory system because blood does pass into the sinuses or cavities of the body. Okay, so that's pretty much all we can see from here, so we'll move on. Uh, the other thing I'll point out in terms of sort of digestion, it's more actually the um, excretory system. Let's see if I can find it right here. There we go. Um, so if you sort of poke around in the cavity by the head, um, you should find another another glandular looking structure right here, okay? And that's called the antennal gland, and that kind of acts like a kidney. So that's responsible for secretion, okay? So excretion of, of waste products as well, okay? So antennal gland.